everybody. We're here today at Shenandoah River State Park. And we just drove up into the park, looked at one of the campground areas. What you're looking at now is the river in the Shenandoah Mountains. And this is called Kohler's Overlook. So we thought we'd stop here and take a look. And again, our lucky day, no one is here, so we have it all to ourselves. It is a truly, truly spectacular view of the Shenandoah River Valley. But you can just see the mountains as far back as they go and the river winding down in the valley below. Again, this is the Shenandoah River Valley. And we drove down here today to get out of the snow and the cold and to get into some sunshine and a little bit warmer air. And we got very lucky today. It's going to turn out to be a beautiful day. Right now it's about 45 degrees, which feels like spring to us. And the clouds are lifting and the sun's starting to peek out. So it makes for a super nice day. If you can see the snow is still all over the mountains, but not so much down here in the valley. Beautiful area. And this is why it's called Kohler's Overlook, thanks to this family, the Kohler family, and the work that they did on this property to maintain it, the beauty. It's parts of it are now part of the Shenandoah River State Park. It is a truly, truly pretty, pretty area. And you are just a stone's throw from the Shenandoah Mountains and the Skyline Drive. So there's a whole lot of hiking, camping, fishing, I'm sure, sorts of boating activities. Just being outside and enjoying nature. Spectacular. We are walking next to, I believe, the Shenandoah River. And over here is the Shenandoah Mountains. So the Skyline Drive is up this way. Anyhow, Shannon and I are out today at this state park to check out some of the trails and what this park has to offer, and we'll be glad to share everything we find with you. So we are on the Cottonwood Trail, and it's a really short trail. There's quite a few different trails here. Some are very long, some are strenuous, some are not. And we're just checking out a few of them today. But as you can see, because of the recent rain and snow and ice, it's super muddy. But we like it anyway.
So these trails are really very well marked. Here's the posts that tell you all the different directions you can go into on these trails, what they're called, and they are marked very well. As you can see, there's a blue blaze, metal piece that's attached to the tree that tells you what trail you're on. So this park is very well marked. We're getting ready to hit a boardwalk area, which makes it nice because it's been very muddy. But we're thrilled to be here because we have been stuck in the house with snow and sleet and ice for days now. So the mud on the trail for us is no big deal. It's so much better than being stuck at home in the cold, yucky weather. There's all kinds of little creeks, tributaries that feed into the river through here. We had to cross one that wasn't, there was no bridge or anything to walk on. It was rather steep, but we did it. Very cool area, very pretty, pristine and quiet. And again, it's our lucky day again. We are the only people out here, so we have it all to ourselves. So we decided to go up to Wildcat Ledge to see what the view is. We'll take you along with us. As you can see, this is a beautiful area. How the rock kind of juts out. So we are up above, not to the top yet, but you can see the boardwalk trail that we were on down below. And the pools of water, my guess is from all the snow and the rain and sleet we've had. You can hear the river off in the distance. See the mountains. Okay, so we've reached the view. This is called Wildcat Ledge View. And it is spectacular up here. It's a pretty area. You can see we're up here looking at the mountains. And the river is down below in the valleys. There's some fields down there. Beautiful, beautiful area. You see the ice? See on the side of the mountains up there?
Yep. everybody so we are on the cottonwood loop trail you can see it's pretty swampy through here but again a lot of rain and snow so to be expected and my guests are used to it and that's why they put this boardwalk path up but we're getting ready to go around the cotton loop trail here I'm gonna take you along with this some really beautiful big old trees and nicely marked paths One of the things we've noticed on this path are these big little pools of water. They're kind of scattered throughout. Most of them are kind of circular in shape. And they're just filled with water. We think that they are where trees once stood and have uprooted. And so now when it rains a lot, snows a lot, I guess, you get these little pools of water. That's what we're assuming. We may be wrong. If you know what they are, you can comment below and let us know. But that's kind of what we were thinking they were. Pretty cool, though. But it's, it's super wet out here. Thank you to whoever put this boardwalk in. Very nice. So we are noticing that there are quite a few of these um, birdhouses. We're not sure what particular species these were built for. But we noticed that there was the Boy Scout emblem on them. So I'm assuming... That the Boy Scouts built these. So just wanted to do a shout out to the Boy Scouts if they did in fact build these and say thank you. Very cool. So this is our lunch view today. Sit in front of the river. everybody thanks for joining us today we really enjoyed this state park and again we're at the Shenandoah River State Park lots of beautiful uh, scenery lots of nice trails and we really enjoyed the day and, and we appreciate you going out with us as we went wandering out yonder bye